Okay, so iOS has always been the more privacy friendly OS, we all know that, and iOS 14's privacy features are pretty amazing. I mean, I've been using the OnePlus 8 running the Android 11 beta and coming from that to the iPhone now, it's just a big difference in terms of privacy features. First of all, it has this local network permission that I wasn't even aware of. I mean, when I was just kind of setting up the iPhone for use, I installed Facebook and opened it up and I got this prompt. Facebook would like to connect to other devices on my network. Now that's insane and yeah, like I said, I did not even know this existed. It basically means Facebook communicates and it's kind of spying on other devices that are on my network. Now it's not just Facebook, I also installed PUBG Mobile on the iPhone, I mean obviously I need a little break. And surprise, surprise, I got the same local network permission prompt from PUBG Mobile as well. Now the interesting fact is I hit don't allow on both the apps and they work like normal. So they don't really need it but they want it. Which makes me wonder if they're taking this permission by default on Android. Also, as you can see, even YouTube wants this permission. See, when you allow an app like say Instagram to use the camera, you get this green dot on the top just around the right of the notch. See this? Yeah, it's a very subtle dot, but this lets you know that your camera is in use. Even the control center now shows you the app that recently took the camera or the mic permission. And yeah, again, it's very handy. Android obviously does not have a similar feature, but MIUI does. I remember using MIUI 12 and it also has these icons for when mic, location or camera is being used. It's great, but most probably we'll see it in Android next year, maybe. Okay, so let me give you an example. So when I try editing a photo on one of the photo editing apps on the iPhone, there are three options. Select photos, allow access to all photos, don't allow. Now when I select photos, I select the photos I want to edit and the photo editing app only gets access to that one photo or the photos I've selected. It works in every single app, so I don't have to give complete access to my photo library or even the videos to any of the apps out there. How awesome is this? It's crazy good. I mean, I want to check into Facebook from time to time, but I don't want it to know exactly where I am. And that's where iOS 14's new approximate location comes in. So when Facebook asks you for the location permission, like Android, in iOS, you get these three options. Allow once, allow while using the app, and don't allow. This is fine, but what's actually interesting is this precise button here, see? So I can turn this off and you can see the blue dot turning into a big circle, which means the app isn't getting my pinpoint location. It's getting an approx location, which is fine because it's still listing me all the popular places nearby to check in. I mean, we know that certain apps track us, right? But can we do anything about it? Now we can on iOS. See, the apps that track you, they will have to ask you guys specifically if you want to be tracked. In the privacy settings, there's a new tracking option where you can allow apps to request you to track. Yeah, I'm going to deny that request every single time. Even in the Wi-Fi settings, there's a new option, use private address, which prevents network operators from tracking your iPhone by basically using a random Mac address. Now, this is a feature that's present in Android, but yeah, super useful. So I can just copy something from notes and now when I open Chrome, it says on the top, Chrome pasted from notes, which means it access the clipboard. Wow, another thing I did not know and this is useful because sometimes you have things like bank account details copy. As you can see, it has this tracking report feature which lists down all the cross-site trackers that are being blocked by the tracking prevention feature in Safari. Now you can see that Safari even blocks Google Analytics trackers, so it's basically blocking Google from getting our info. Now let's compare it to Chrome. But wait, why should we? I mean, Chrome is meant for tracking, right? Look, I understand now why people have this perception of iPhones being more private and secure. It's actually not a perception, it's true. Coming from Android 11, let me just say that the latest Android version feels kind of basic in terms of privacy and security features now that I've used iOS 14 on the iPhone. If you ask me, Android is just not there. See, a lot of iOS 14 features are inspired from Android, I know that. So I hope Android 12 brings privacy features inspired by iOS 14.